All right, so now that my pieces have been refined, um, you know, they're a little bit cleaner now. I smooth them out uh, using the tools, the scrapers, you know, to just try to make my, my bowl and my cup look a little bit cleaner and smoother. And they're also a little bit stiffer now. You know, they're more leather hard, so they still have some flexibility if I pressed hard enough, but now they're a good uh, stage for me to start putting designs on these. So uh, one easy way to transfer design into clay, especially if um, you're not that very good at freehanding, is that you could use uh, your computer and uh, trace over it. So that's what I did here. I have pulled out a couple images, saved them into my computer. I could take a blank piece of paper and tape it against the computer screen and then trace over that to get the image that I'm gonna transfer into my, my project. Uh, make sure that the image actually fits around, that it is not bigger than the actual object. And here too, I have a couple flowers that I'm gonna put on my bowl. And that's, you know, if you're going for elaborate design, that's that might be really hard to, um, to freehand, you could uh, trace it. You could always print out the, the image too. Just gotta make sure you print it to the correct size. So let me get this out of the way and then I'm gonna transfer to the to the clay. Okay, so again, here I have my images that I traced over. I'm gonna cut out the excess paper. Go ahead and do this one on the cup. So the idea is, you know, I guess to do image transfers, it's basically tr uh, also tracing. So the idea is I'm gonna put this on the clay here and then I'm gonna trace over the line again, uh, but I wanna press hard enough so that when I draw on the paper, it transfers over to the clay. So I'm just first going to put this on and the idea is, is that you also want to make sure you hold on to it or what you could also do is spray the cup lightly and Gonna, okay, so I spray the cup and then with the sponge, I'm just gonna gently dab it, spray more. That way the paper just stays in place. I don't need to soak it just a little bit again so that it stays in place. Okay, once I feel that that's gonna stay in place, then I can start tracing over that. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw over it again. You can use a pencil or you can use a needle but sort of like when you trace with the needle, angle it, don't kind of like drag across because then it's just gonna tear the paper apart. Sort of like using the edge of the needle to make my drawing. Another thing you could do is actually like poke a bunch of little holes through. That's also gonna transfer. As long as I have the main parts drawn, I could eventually freehand some of it. 
check that it's actually transferring over. Looks like it is. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing this for a while to transfer the image. All right, so I have pretty much uh, traced over the drawing, you know, with that needle tool. Uh, if I peel this off, I'll see like very light drawing now that it transferred over to the clay. That's basically the idea that you're just going to have a really light drawing keep your original and now that I have that basically drawn out then I could start to go over it again to um, emphasize it and bring out the designs more so I'll keep my original handy here and then now um, going using a pencil I could start going over the design again to bring it all out you know bring out the carvings So yeah, I'll just do this uh, at the moment you know like you're gonna have those little bits of clay uh, I'm just gonna leave them there for now uh, I'm not gonna bother with them at the moment later on I'll remove them but for now I'm just gonna go over my drawing again I prefer to use a pencil over the needle tool because the needle tool creates more of those little jagged bits a pencil leaves a cleaner line you still have those little jagged bits but not as much as a needle tool and it also just makes the lines a little bit wider and nicer looking. So I'm just going to go over this again and bring out my drawing. I'm going to be back. Okay, so here now you can see I went over my line. Uh, again, just ignore all those little bits of clay that are out. I used a pencil to draw over my lines. And now I have pretty much transferred my my drawing into the clay um, best way to remove all those little bits is you know when this dries up you could take a dry sponge and with the dry sponge you'll be able to knock out a lot of those little bits sometimes you might have to go over the lines again just because of how like some of those little bits kind of go back inside the lines so you might have to redraw them or just go over them again make them look deeper and uh, just clean up your lines so now that I've done that I'm gonna do the same to my bowl again I have my drawings here and I'm gonna be just putting a whole bunch of, of cherry blossom flowers all over the bowl I'm gonna go ahead and do that same idea is I'll just put the piece of paper over the clay and then draw over it I think for some of these I have little small details like that. I'm just going to draw the outline of the outside of a flower and then the inside parts I could just freehand it. So I should be able to do that. So I will go ahead and do that now. Alright, so here I've done the same to the bowl. So I have my rough drawings on both of these now. So um, just gonna let these sit for a bit so um, they could dry a bit and then I could knock off the little bits of clay. So I'll dry, I'll dry this out slightly, but not too much. Um, so I still want to be able to carve more, clean up my, my bowl and I don't want it to dry completely. So once it dries you know, a little bit more, you, you should be able to take a, a, a sponge, a dry sponge. And with the sponge, you'll be able to remove those little bits. I can actually do it now since it's already kind of dry. So see here now I could uh, eventually go over my lines again like there's some little bits of clay that maybe didn't come off so I could just go over that and try to knock off those little bits.
some point you could also take uh, say my moist sponge and with that moist sponge just very gently dab over the drawing and that's gonna clean up the lines even more so that you don't have too much of a jagged edge again just sometimes you know you might need to do multiple passes just so that you could end up with a really nice clean line for your designs So there you go. So that's, you know, putting designs on it. Now I'm just going to clean all these up. And then once this is a little bit drier, I could start uh, using my underglazes to paint some of my designs. Obviously, you know, the underglazes might not be enough to color the entire bowl and cup. So I'm only going to use the underglazes to color my designs. That way I can at least get a pop of color. On those maybe I'll even just do one underglaze on the rim of my bowl maybe even the foot I'll see how much underglaze I have uh, so I could use on, on these but yeah it's mostly gonna be on my line drawings so uh, so yeah that's pretty much the process of making uh, your bowl and your cup using a mold and then adding your designs Again, take your time as you would with every other clay project so that you are able to do something really nice and really good uh, and then yeah make sure you're paying attention to your designs and how they look on your on your projects so have fun with this good luck take your time be patient with the clay and you know again just have fun we'll see you guys later